Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Dark Knight Trilogy Wave Batman. Let's get a better look at that packaging, shall we? And here is the figure up close in the packaging. We of course have the window right there. DC Multiverse logo right there. Name, Batman nameplate right there. One of four to collect to build. Bane. Then of course you have Batman right there. DC Multiverse right there. The ad for the DC Universe Infinite app with the QR code. Let me let me know what that uh, QR code really does. I'm kind of interested. Uh, of course we have this shot of Bane on the back of the packaging with of course the Batman nameplate from the Dark Knight trilogy. He obviously comes with the legs for Bane. And then of course, all of the figures in the wave. We have taken a look at Scarecrow. We have yet to take a look at Two-Face or the Joker. So stay tuned for that. Of course, another DC Universe Infinite ad. If you wanna read comics for a cheap affordable price and don't care about physical media, get the DC Universe Infinite app. Free plug out of the way. We have, of course, the McFarland Toys social medias. Follow them on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. On the back, of course, on the side, of course, we have Batman from the Dark Knight Trilogy. We have, of course, this awesome logo for the Dark Knight Trilogy. DC Gaming, I don't get it because it's a movie. Batman, McFarland Toys logo right there. On top, we just got a window with the Dark Knight Trilogy logo right there and on the bottom we have the Dark Knight legalese right there and then of course the barcode right there for all you barcode hunters this is going to be a big one so good luck to all my barcode hunters for this one I'm really praying for you but uh yeah guys let's get this guy out of the packaging all right guys so here we have our Christian Bale, Batman, out of the packaging. And before we take a look at the accessories that come with the figure and the figure itself, we're of course gonna take a look at the other things that come with the package, that come with the figure. So obviously the base, you know, DC logo right there, hockey puck, little one peg right there. The three circles, ah, ah we're going backwards. We're going backwards, people. And then, of course, we have the card with an obviously Photoshop mock-up of... This looks like it could be a still from The Dark Knight Rises, but I'm not completely sure about that. And, of course, on the back. So, yeah, this is at the point where... Um, this, is a dark, this is the Dark Knight Rises Batman. So that's good to know because uh, after 10 years in retirement, Batman returns. Yeah. That's uh, because the Dark Knight forces him to retire. And then of course we have the legs for Bane, which will be covered in his own review. But uh, yeah, so you see one of his accessories. The other one is three of these. He comes with three Batarangs, which are very big. They're not as big as the Batarangs in the movie because the batterings in the movie are literally like throwing darts. This is like a horseshoe. <laughs> this is huge. But outside of that, it looks very good. Uh, the copper goldish kind of paint looks very nice. Very similar to what it is in the movie. I love a prefer more of a rose gold on it to match more of what it is in the movie, but this is good. It's acceptable <laughs> in my opinion. But yeah, just to tell you, I'm not BSing. Here's all three. And then he, of course, has the grappling gun, which is casted in one material, which kind of makes me sad. He, They could have at least painted the black here and on the grip to give it some break. Because even in the promo pictures, he has the gun properly painted, and then we come out with this shit. It's a good sculpt. It looks like the, it looks like the gun in the movie, but beside, but honestly, it's 
not as painted as I would like, but then again, nitpicking. But uh, all right, guys, let's take a look at this figure. And so right off the bat, he looks like Bale. <laughs> he looks like Bale Batman. Any everything from like his body shape to the um, to the face, which you can do. Si it's one of the more expressive heads, to be honest. And it's the first. Uh, it's honestly the first at the scale to get an accurate Bale head. Because for some reason, Bale's Batman head is very hard to get right, as made clear by some of the Mattel figures and stuff like that. But this figure nailed it from every profile. It looks great. And it's very posable because, you know, um, detachable helmet piece right there. But of course, they uh, I like that they added a lot of the gray for the... Um, shoulder for the armor plates just to show off all that detailing without you trying to ha having to like squint to see all that armor plating it looks really it looks really good it's the only time that actually at having an artist integrity helps and also one thing i really like is that they don't really show it on a lot of at least the small the figures on the uh, more cheaper option but the fact that it's two blades instead of one because usually, uh, usually on the on the more uh, uh, cheaper side of things, they usually just have one fin going down. But here it's two, like in the movie, as made famous by the "I'll show you where you got these" scene in the Dark Knight. But like I said, it's a lot of detailing in the uh, in the armor plates, and then of course the belt. Belt looks. Perfect. This is honestly a very well done piece. And then on the back, they didn't paint it, but are you surprised by that? There's a cape here. Like, it covers it perfectly. <laughs> so, I mean, it doesn't really have to. It would be nice to have that back painting, but of course, alas. The only real thing I have in terms of problems, in terms of looks on the figure, is that I think the shoulder pads should be a little bit more uh, bulky. They should be kind of like that. Like they're too flat is like my main criticism is that they're too flat. Outside of that though, it's a great looking piece. It nails, fails Batman sculpt. And of course all the detailing that goes into it with all the, you know, the stitching and the plates just looks absolutely fantastic. I couldn't ask for a better Batman at this price range. But yeah, let's get into articulation with this guy. Obviously, he has a very posable head, just like the movie. First Batman to have a posable head, live action Batman to have a posable head since Adam West. So he's got, of course, the <laughs> pin and socket head joint thing uh the brain but uh yeah he can look that high he can look that low and he of course can turn his head all the way around as well as pivot he has shoulder joints which can move out that far and yes the shoulder pad does move up to accommodate that and then of course he can spin his arm all the way around like so. He has the armpit joint, armpit disc in there so you can get a lot more expression out of it. He does have a bicep swivel. However, uh, perks of looking up various reviews on this figure, my both of my biceps are stiff and cannot move. And I was not willing to break my figure before recording this review so after this review i'll um see if i can get it i'll see if i can get those working if i uh if i do i'll let you know after this segment if i don't well uh that's gonna suck but um <laughs> uh 
Of course, we we have the double jointed elbows, which look yeesh. They, they look all right, I guess. And of course, the, you have the standard McFarlane wrist joint, which can move up and down. And then of course you can turn the hand and have it go front to back like so. Absolutely love these joints. Can't say enough good things about it. For the diaphragm, he has lots of movement, lots of sh movement right there. He can crunch about that far down. He can move back about that far. He can literally do the limbo. One of the most flexible McFarlane figures I have in my collection by far. For the legs, we have the standard McFarlane leg joints right there. He has barely even thigh swivel. I don't even count that. Double jointed knees. And also, I forgot, his legs can move that far forward and that far back. Like, yeah, like I said, double joint knees. And of course, the famous ankle joints where you can rotate it at the top. And at the bottom, you can do the ankle pivot like so, as well as hinge up and down. And then, of course, you have toe articulation. And he has treads at the bottom of his feet. Oh, wow, that is awesome. But yeah, overall, very solid figure in terms of posability. Outside of the defect I have on my figure being that um, bicep swivel. And here we have almost all of the live action movie Batman. We, of course, have this is a bootleg, but it's still the, a bootleg Michael Keaton NECA figure. Just as good as the NECA figure, even though it's unfortunately bootleg. We, of course, have our new Nolan Batman, Christian Bale Batman right there. Then we have our Justice League Snyder Cut Ben Affleck Batman. And then we have our newest Batman, the Rob Pattinson Batman. And it's just cool to have enough Batman figures. And even though McFarlane's coming out with another Keaton, it's gonna it's insane to think about. The McFarlane has made so many Batman to the point where you almost have every on-screen Batman ever. And if you want to be technical with the Batman 66 line, he has made almost every single interpretation of a live-action Batman outside of Val Kilmer and George Clooney, which technically could just be this Batman. It's just a very insane concept to think about, to be for real. And, and like, like I said, it's wild that you can have all of these in the same scale. It's just mind-boggling to me. In a good way, though. In a good way. Trust me, it's they in a good way. I couldn't get away with having a comic book Batman compared to a live-action Batman right there. So we have my definitive comic book Batman, Three Jokers Batman. Until further notice, that is my definitive comic book Batman. Hands down. I love that figure. But, of course, there is this one right here, which... Honestly, it's a good Batman. It's a very good Batman. But yeah, it's not a comic book Batman, so it can't be the definitive Batman in your collection. Unless if you don't really care about that sort of thing, which in that sense, to each their own. But in my opinion, movies have to stay separate from comic book figures because comic book figures could, can look cooler than movie figures because movie figures are grounded in reality. And... These figures are not, and they can look better, to be honest. But still, it's cool to see a, the, mo the most live-action Batman we're probably ever going to get, the most realistic-looking Batman compared to a very comic booky Batman. Our new Batman against the only other character we've reviewed from this wave so far in Scarecrow. And yeah, <laughs> they look great together because they're from the same wave and the same franchise. So yeah, of course they look good together. They look great together. You can totally have this Batman beating the crap out of Scarecrow. And also, I forgot to mention, he comes with a fist and a gripping hand, so you can't have grapnel and battering. You can only have grapnel. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. But yeah, you can totally see Batman, like, absolutely beating the shit out of this Scarecrow. But yeah, guys, that'll do it for this review on the Christian Bale Batman overall. I really found enjoyment out of this figure. He very much nails 
the Christian Bale physique in the suit, which figures at this price point have not yet been able to do. And also with the portrait being Christian Bale from every single angle possible. And it's such an expressive head where even the slightest head tilt can give a whole wide variety of emotions to this figure. And even though the painting of the accessories and like some of that stuff can kind of bog you down, overall, I think it's a great figure and you guys should totally pick it up. But like I said, if you, got, if you guys don't like movie figures, obviously don't pick this up. But if you're just a fan of a cool figure, this is one to get. And I'd be happy to give you a recommendation for this figure. But uh, yeah, guys, that's it for this review. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Tell me what you think about this figure after the video. And as always, be kind and courteous to one another. And as always, keep collecting. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.